Hi there everybody, my name is Mr Crowder. I teach brass instruments for the whole music service. Some of you I will have met, some of you I will never have met. Anyway, I'm going to tell you today about a piece of music that I really, really, really enjoy listening to and I also enjoy playing it. It's a piece of music that was written quite a long time ago in 1829 and it was written by a man. Now, I wonder if you can guess where this man is from. His surname is Rossini. Italian, of course, a bit like Rossini, spaghetti, tagliatelle and all those other pastas that we can't buy at the supermarket anymore. But he's, he's not a pastor, he's a composer. His name is Giacchino Antonio Rossini. And he was very, very famous for composing music and for composing operas. Now, for those of you that don't know, an opera is a play. And instead of talking, people sing. There's usually a story that goes along with the opera. And this is a story about a man who is a bit of a legend from Switzerland. Now, what I would like you to do, if you can, after this video, is go on Google and put in William Tell story. Because this is a story about a man called William Tell. Now, I'm not going to spoil the story for you, but I will tell you that it involves William Tell having his son stand against a tree. His son puts an apple on his head and William Tell has to shoot the apple off his head using a crossbow. Something I don't suggest you try, because it can be very dangerous, and it's not very good for the apple either. Of course, this opera was about two and a half, three hours long, so there's a little bit more to the story, but you could find out what that story is about. Now, the opera, like we say, it's about William Tell, it's about the Swiss army, and every opera, in fact, every musical that you ever go to see an opera has a piece of music at the beginning. And the piece at the beginning sort of introduces you to different tunes that you'll hear through the night at the opera. And this is called an overture. And the overture is a very famous piece of music by William Tell. It's probably the most famous part of the opera is the William Tell overture. Some of you may think you've never heard this piece of music. Well, let me tell you, I bet you have. Because the last part, what we call the finale, because that means the final, Italian, finale, final. I think I can speak Italian. But the finale of the William Tell Overture is a very, very, very famous piece of music. And it's not really very famous because of the William Tell Overture. Many years ago, in the 1950s, just before I was born, there was an American television program about uh, a cowboy. And he had a friend. And the cowboy, he did good deeds. He protected people. He looked after the poor people. He looked after people who were a bit worse off than us, or people who were a bit feeble. But he looked after everybody. And he was called the Lone Ranger. And the American television company that made this film, they wanted a, a signature tune, a good piece of music that made, made people excited. And they used this finale from William Tell Overture. Now, the Lone Ranger had a horse called Silver. And he went very, very fast on this horse called Silver. And people always think, that the William Tell Overture is about horses galloping. Well, it isn't. In the opera, there were no horses. It was just about Swiss soldiers marching. But ever since this television programme's come out, the William Tell Overture has become absolutely humongously famous. You will definitely have heard it. I'm not going to spoil it and sing it. What I'm going to ask you to do is to listen to the, to the William Tell Overture. It's only about three minutes long. That's all it takes. And I promise you, as soon as you hear it start, you will notice. I love the start of it because it starts with brass. It starts with trumpets and French horns. Now I play in a brass band and this brass band, again, about 20 years ago, 
they were in a very famous film called Brassed Off. And the end of Brassed Off film is the brass band playing the William Tell Overture. So it's not just played by orchestra, it's been played by many, many different people. But I really think the best way to hear it is by an orchestra. So I want you to listen and I want you to put your hand up as soon as you recognise the tune. I give you about three seconds. And there is a bit of a saying that the definition of intellectual, that means clever, the definition of being intellectual is being able to hear the William Tell Overture without thinking about the Lone Ranger. Well, I'm sure you're all very intellectual and you won't think about the Lone Ranger because probably some of you have never heard of the Lone Ranger either. You will have heard this piece, I guarantee you. So sit back and listen to the finale from the William Tell Overture by Giochino Antonio Rossini. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> 